migrants are coming into the borderland at such a high rate that officials were forced to release some into the streets of El Paso. And with the Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas visiting El Paso today, the migrant situation is making national news. Now, we have ABC 7's Dylan McKim who spoke with local leaders to understand all the details. As migrants continue to flood El Paso, Deputy City Manager Mario Diagostino is recommending the mayor to declare an emergency. The declaration would allow El Paso to receive help from the state, which could be staffing, shelter, or funding. Making sure we have the staff, we have staff ready to handle our normal day-to-day -day task of, of emergency response. But Mayor Lisa does not want to make that declaration just yet. You, you can hear where the mayor stands at this time. He's considering it, but he has not made a decision. And state law in Texas here requires that it's either the, the mayor or, or the county judge who has to declare an emergency. County Judge Ricardo Samaniego also says he does not want to declare an emergency and politics play a role in his decision. We're concerned that the minute we declare, we're not going to be able to choose our resources and the governor can determine what those resources are. He could fund us. He could send military. I mean, he could send the National Guard. He could send shelter, but we're at, at his mercy to, for him to determine what is it that he's going to provide for us. The judge says he does not want police or National Guard sent to El Paso, an action the governor has taken in the Rio Grande Valley. We don't see that as a solution. I don't think anybody sees that as a solution because it convolutes our process. It doesn't help in any, in any particular way.